I don't know if you've ever taken a photograph that you were really proud of and excited about, but then you got it on your computer screen and you were just like, man, that subject just gets lost a little bit into the background. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a quick and easy way to separate your subjects and bring attention to them with one easy tool to use in Lightroom coming up. Hey guys, welcome into the video. My name is David Johnston, and on this channel we talk landscape photography. This video is more like an outdoor photograph of some wildlife that I shot in Kenya, but if you're interested in outdoor landscape photography, subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell so you can see more ways to improve your photography. In this video, we're talking about separating your subject from the background. I don't wanna waste your time anymore going into it. I wanna show you how to do this. So as you see on my screen, you'll see this lion cub that I photographed in Kenya in just amazing light, golden hour and, and backlight. And, and this photograph is great but I want to separate that subject from the background a little bit more and draw more attention to it to really show the viewer this is the star of the show. So how do you do that? Well, the easiest way I think to do that is using something called a radial filter. Now, when you go to develop, you may use these tools like crop, spot removal, adjustment brush, gradient filter, but I think the radial filter is one of the most underutilized tools and the quickest and easiest way to draw attention to the subject of your photograph. I'll show you how. So when you initially click on the radial filter, what you'll see is a set of options that come up. Now, when you first click on it, I like to decrease my exposure a lot because when you make the adjustment, what you're gonna see is it's gonna make that adjustment on the outside of the circle or sphere or oval that you make on your image. So what do I mean when I say that? Well, I can just click and drag a big circle here around my subject, just a big circle, put it right over the face here, and you'll see it darkened the exposure of everything around that. I just wanna center that up on the lion cub itself. I don't want that much decreased exposure because that doesn't look natural, it doesn't look real, but when I can decrease it enough to where it does look natural is where I want to get it. So I'm at about a stop down from where I was on my original exposure. I can continue making adjustments to this area. If I increase contrast, I can increase my highlights and really play off of that backlight and then increase my saturation some and even increase my clarity some. And already I've darkened the background to this image. Now there's a second way that you can adjust your images with the radial filter. Here's how you do that. So you click on the radial filter just like we did, but instead of doing what we just did by just initially drawing a circle, I'm gonna scroll down and check the invert option. This tells Lightroom, I wanna make those adjustments of the radial filter, but invert those. So every change I make is to the subject, the inside of that circle that I make instead of the outside. So when I select and click and drag, you'll see now my adjustment is being made to the inside here. So I'm just gonna place this right above the line cubs and you can click and drag these edges to really emphasize that. And you can even click and rotate that sphere that you made. Just gonna widen this a little bit, center it straight up. And instead of decreasing exposure, what I wanna do is increase that just slightly, something like that. And what I'm gonna do now is increase my temperature to really play off that golden light feel, make it more yellow and more warm, increase my saturation, increase my highlights to really play off that backlight and really frame up this subject right, increase my clarity some to make those fur hairs pop. And there we go. Now we've drawn attention to this subject one last way, especially in wildlife photography, you know, you wanna bring attention to the eyes because that's where you make the connection. So what I'm gonna do is make two radial filter adjustments, but I'm gonna make those to the eyeballs. So I'm actually gonna keep my invert selected because I want this adjustment made on the inside of the radial filter. 
and I'm just gonna make a little sphere here and rotate that to the eyeball and click and drag that to just hover it over. And I'm just barely above my exposure. I'm gonna increase my clarity to make that little area pop. I'm gonna hit new, make a separate one over on this eye, click and drag this over, increase the clarity and boom, there you have it. A pretty easy way to draw attention to your subject. Let's look at the before and after here of this image that we got and you can see already we have much more attention drawn to the lion cub itself and not only that but we played around with the light using the radial filter to adjust this image to get that light exactly where we wanted it and just a quick and easy way to bring more attention to your subjects next time you're shooting in the outdoor scene.